Sure. Okay. Uh, hey guys, happy splash here. Good morning. It is 10, 8, 2021. Uh, right now we're going to do the world event, some divine arena and some pit. So let's get right into it. So, uh, first of all, uh, so the event is called death from above. As you can see here, we have these three units here and we're trying to complete some quests to get some runes and to get the necrolish, the Mr. Devil and the shadow Shimuna over here. So let's go. Hopefully it doesn't freeze or crash or anything. Is this the ad or is this the beginning? I can't tell. <laughs> All right, so some some ad stuff. All right. So first chapter, chapter one, new order. The celestials are already coming. It's interesting why nobody's ever heard of them. Well, they don't really look like celestial creatures. Can they even be trusted? It's important to be on guard in case they start killing civilians. Okay, so these are the rewards at the end of chapter one. We'll get some rares. And we'll get some, uh, you see an epic scroll to summon demigod and some more rewards from the roulette. So yeah, let's go to the adventure. Okay, first quest here. We have to defeat a celestial and we can get some runes. Okay, and no skills over here. So just a regular battle. So yeah, let's go. Greetings, people of Pangea. These are the new rules. Don't stay in our way. If you refuse to comply with our orders, we will kill you. Everyone who has had, has weapons must hand them over to the nearest reception center. Sorry, but I must say no. My weapons belong to me alone. And willing to comply? Very well. Let's kill him, guys. And so we are greeted with threats of death. Good way to start the morning. <laughs> Alright. Fortunately, though, uh, these are the early bosses so what we'll do is we'll just summon our unit here with the attack and there we go you have no idea who you are messing with you too mate and so that was celestial right there and i, I like the uh the little redesign that they did with the runes maybe it's going to be different for every one of these events before it was the um kind of like these blue tic tacs and now they look like uh red teardrops okay so that's good we'll go to the roadmap we'll collect our award and we'll move on. So the next quest here is to kill five enemy heroes in battle against other players. We will do that by going out of the roadmap. We'll go to the brawl. And we just need to defeat five heroes or units. So not necessarily the warlords, just the units uh, on the field. So not a lot of coverage here. We're just going to destroy some units and uh, go from there. Hopefully also we get the victory on this one too and get a journey attempt that we just used up. All right, so there's already four on the field. We're gonna summon our building here and just destroy some stuff. Suppose we can go for victory, but yeah, matter of all, just uh, destroy the heroes and then go from there. All right, so this Mr. Flap is going to be an issue. Uh, we'll do our summon. We'll summon our Yoster over here. Silence these units. Perhaps mark these for damage uh, at the beginning of the next turn. Destroy them, and then we'll just exit out and consider our five heroes beaten. So that was number four. Okay, you can see here they did summon a Mr. Devil. Right here, already here. All right, so we'll do our destruction, and then we'll just surrender. That should be that should be enough. Yep. All right. So we did kill the five enemy heroes. Uh, you don't have to win the battle, as you saw right there, just to beat the heroes. All right. So we'll go back to the roadmap. We'll skip the ad here by clicking through. All right. And we'll collect our awards. Okay. So now we're in the first branch of chapter one. We have on the bottom here to get six rare heroes in summons or in chess, except the event shop, which is the roulette. You have up in the top, find 500 souls of heroes, and then behind that, you have play heroes 20 times in battle against other players. We're going to do this quest first, the find 500 souls of heroes, followed by the six rare heroes and summons. So we're going to close out our roadmap. We're going to go to the quest, and we have some chests from the daily and weekly quests that you saw there. So we're just going to open this daily one over here. This should be enough for the 500 souls because we're in League 1, and we get this many souls for opening one of these uh, common chests. So that's good. We're going to go back to the roadmap, collect our award, 
least on the top. And then on the bottom down here for the collecting uh, six rares and summons or chests. So we'll go back to the quest again. And all right, so we do have one over here. Sasha Boss, uh, T18. Damn, you are, are the only Mighty Party streamer. No, wow, you're good. Thank you. Uh, I, I think there are at least, there's at least one other Mighty Party streamer because I, I know that there are other videos that are out there. But um, yeah, for sure, uh, I try to keep on a uh, consistent schedule. And uh, welcome to the stream. All right, so I just opened the one. Let me see if I can, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll go to the shop and we'll just open up the mercenaries chest instead. So we'll open up a 10X over here. Oops, I'm not trying to open uh, just one. But actually, no, we don't even have to open up a 10X because it's just six rares total. So every one of these mercenary chests, you could end up getting uh, at least a couple. So we open up two. Uh, you are only one streaming. Yes, at least for now. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so we got the rares and uh, we're good. We're going to now close this out. We'll collect our reward at the roadmap and uh, we'll keep going. All right, so the next quest here is to defeat the demon. It's another boss and uh, no skills. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Roadmap is good. Uh, well, roadmap is the main screen for the uh, world event. That's what they officially call it now. So we're going to try and keep using that, uh, those words. Uh, you don't look like a celestial to me. Uh, what would you know about that? Just an assumption. Okay. We'll do our rare summon over here. And there we go. <laughs> so, so some of these early, early battles are going to, to be like this, uh, just because of the strength, uh, relative to the rest of the bosses. Or I'm not reading forms or stuff. Yeah. It, yeah. So officially you can see here, it's called the roadmap. It was just a, it was a way to, you know, you called the world event screen from before, but they, they actually gave these things labels now. So that's uh, why it's a little easier to follow along. Okay. So we're now in the next quest here. We have level up chaos hero four times. We're going to close this out. Is it OP? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by is the road map OP. It's not the original poster uh, and it's not overpowered. It's just the regular, uh, the map for the world event. It helps you, yes. The roadmap does help you. It it helps you organize what uh what you actually have to do. If you actually you can actually preview the next quests for the world event, so that is why it's uh it's nice to be able to see that and then be able to plan and get resources. So we went to the guild here. We're going to the guild bonuses and we're going to we're going to open we're gonna activate one of our guild bonuses here, which is to lower the cost of the level ups. So we'll do that for one day. We'll just do a small winner here. We'll close this out we'll go back to the we're going to go to their squad because we need to level up chaos heroes four times you can either level up one of your warlords that are chaos so in this case it would actually be this one here or you can level up uh, one of your units so we'll filter for chaos so we'll, these um this arrow here filters for levels units that you can level and then we'll do chaos and we'll see what we can get all right we're trying to keep some units above level 16. So we'll level up this one here. Actually, can we do some more? Yeah, sure. Wait, okay. So you will level up. Oh, we can level up this one once, twice. Might as well make this really good. Number three and number four. So we we decide to level up this this really large one so that we can actually get their might up, and then with our maximum might we might be able to actually level up our warlords for later. I'm pretty good. Leave fourteen. I mean a bit. Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean there's still plenty of uh, plenty of room for development in order to get uh, what do you call get uh, get better in mighty party. Uh, can you see PVP? Uh, yes. We will do some PVP after. I guess. Yeah, we'll do some PvP after after the world event. A match. Sure. Okay, so the next quest here is to defeat Purple Lady. Let's go to the quest. So okay, great. You will be here. Alright, so we'll try and get this done as quickly as possible. So no skills over here, so we'll just get the battle done. Uh greetings, Lord Protector of Pangea. I believe there is a misunderstanding between us. 
yeah, uh, you, your, your guys want to kill my folk. A misunderstanding, quote, unquote, that is. They are here to introduce Pangaea to the new world order. Surely there will be blood, but the motives of my servants are pure and honest. I don't think so. If this new order means that someone has to die, then I'm against it. And we can't reach an agreement. Yes, you are right. I never read those. <laughs> well, I mean, they put in some work into the story and the dialogue, so might as well take a look at it. Also, you only get to see that stuff once, uh, so might as well. All right, so we'll just do our summon over here. And there we go. As you can see, just pretty straightforward battles. You know, just one, one summon and gets it done. All right, go into the roadmap, collecting our rewards. Okay, uh, I gotta not buy that because we don't need it right now. And we'll see the next quest here. So defeat other players three times. We're going to close out of the roadmap. We're going to go face those disciples that we do in order to save some uh, save some attempts. Do that. Uh, I'll click on this one here, and we'll just fight this one. What do you do with those runes? You spend them at the roulette and they will allow you to get some more uh, souls. Potentially you'll be able to unlock new units if you haven't unlocked them before. Uh, currently we have everything unlocked, so we're just going to get as many, uh, what do you call them? We're trying to get as many souls as we can. Uh, so you guys can see we did defeat one of, the, one of the disciples and the battle does count towards the quest. So we'll do that two more times. Can it drop legendary? Uh, yes, it can. You would have to spend the large amount on it. Uh, I believe it's 5,000 runes for the legendary, 1,000 for the epic, and 250 for the rare. Eventually, we'll have to spend on them anyways, so we'll be able to see them shortly. So we'll do the fight one more time against the disciple. Oops. Do a battle? Sure. All right, let me do one battle after this. After. Okay. All right. All right, so we'll just get this done. And that was the third attempt. So there you go. You defeat out the players three times. And collect some stuff while we're here. Okay, going back to the roadmap to collect the rewards. Okay, so now we're in the second branch. Uh, we'll see down here on the bottom is find 500 souls of Necromancer, Angry Imp, or Moonchild. These are the event rares. We have up on the top, get 12 heroes in summons or in chests, except event shop chests. And then we have kill 35 enemy heroes in battle against other players. We're going to do this one here first, the 12 heroes. So what we'll do is we will once again, we'll go back to our quest. Every one of these chests does count towards the summon. So you see right here, this one here, even though we didn't open up a hero, it does count as a summon, which is kind of weird, but okay. And we'll just open up these chests for now. Get those out of the way and see number three. And there's a quick way to do, do this too, and we might as well just do that. So what we'll do here is we'll go to the shop and you can buy these mercenary chests. You'll buy the 10X here to save on some coins. And you see it does complete the first quest over here on top. We'll open up these other chests. And every once in a while, it will give us the event rares. And the event rares will be doubled during the event. Let's see if we can actually get them. Mm, none yet. Still none. Still none. Not surprising. Amazing. Okay, so we didn't actually get any. That's unfortunate. Uh, the other option we do have to is, let me just claim the reward first. Close this out, and claim the reward on the top. So one of these event rares, you'll see here the, uh, and this one in particular, the Angry Imp. This is one that you can actually evolve into. So if you do have copies, you can go to the squad. There was one. Uh, yeah, so if it was complete, we would have seen the exclamation mark show up on the quest, but we did not. That's fine. Let's see if we can actually find the imp. Otherwise, I'm just talking crazy talk here. Might have to just skip it, too. 
Let's see here. So we filtered for chaos, we filtered for commons, and seeing if we can actually evolve into it. Mm, doesn't look like it. Wow. I guess we can buy another 10x and see if we can open it up. Yeah, we actually don't have it. Wow. Okay. Well, in that case, lag. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll we'll purchase another 10x and see if we can get it get it open. Kind of surprising. Really thought we had it. All right, we'll buy another 10x over here and see if we can get it open. So we bought 10x and still nothing. Well, if this is the case, then we're probably... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was just freak out there. All right, so we did get our 500 souls eventually. As you can see here, we did get the um, the rares, so that's good. Wasn't going to freak out, but it was going to take a lot longer in order to get through this branch. So we'll collect our ward. Okay, uh, we'll go over to the next quest here. So we'll open the rare event chest and event shop three times. The event shop is now called the roulette. So we'll go to the roulette over here. This is the rare chest over here. It tells you the breakdown as to what you could possibly get. You're not guaranteed any one of these in particular, but it's more the fact that you'll probably get rares. So we'll open this up. Whoops. Close that out a little bit too early. All right, so we'll open this up twice. So we got some event rares. And then we'll open it one more time. And you see we are complete. And we got some more event rares. Okay, so we'll close that up. And you see here, these are the costs for the event shop chests, and these are where you would spend the runes. All right, so we'll close that out, the event shop. We'll open up our rewards, and we'll move on. Now, for those who are tuning in right now, we're currently doing the world event, and we will be doing probably Divine Arena next, if not Pit. I, I don't remember. Uh, can I see a battle because I want to go stream? Sure, yeah, right here. Let me put in a quick battle for you then. All right, so we need to open up one of these chests. We saved some of the chests from the uh, before the world event started. So you can see here we do have rares and we do have these epics that can help us get some more stuff. All right, so we'll do one battle and then we will continue on with the world event. And of course, we have one that starts a little stronger than us. So let's uh, let's find a, a quicker battle if we can. Go, go, go. All right, this I, I've faced this uh, Rayong before. All right. Hi, Jaboga. Good afternoon. I'll show you my emote. Sure. Absolutely. All right. So we'll start with, uh, hmm. all right. You know, we'll start with our uh, our summon over here. And then we're going to summon our Aphrodite. Our Aphrodite deals damage based upon the health of one of our units. So hopefully it does deal on this one. You saw the 123 just show up at the end. So it did mark this unit to deal damage over here. What is that in a emote of? Oh, cool. I also see your uh I see your uh game. Awesome. Okay, so they do have this warlord here that does silence. It has heal and then it has stones with heal. It also has a pet that deals plus damage. Uh well, gets plus attack whenever a unit comes into play at the end of the turn, and then also uh plus attack whenever a unit is destroyed. Okay, uh, they did destroy our unit, so that's unfortunate because they had this York here that comes into play, deals damage. We summon the Yost over here to silence the male unit so that way it doesn't have any more of its skills and then particularly getting rid of the Reborn so that if we do destroy it, it won't come back. Okay, so we marked their units for destruction, so we'll do that, get rid of those now. Now we'll continue on, we'll summon our immune unit over here. This unit freezes ranged units that attack it for a turn, and then also has immunity, and then gives plus, attack, uh, plus health to our units. Athlete. Yes, so <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I can, uh, I'll take a look at it uh, after, after the stream. Okay, so we have our damage over here, summon it appears. Okay, we're gonna summon another immune unit to break through. Destroy this. 
what does immunity do? Immunity, it is you can click on it. You can see here, immune heroes can't be affected by skills, neither from enemies or allies. So in other words, it can't be poison, can't be, uh, what do you call it? Can't be transformed, can't be toxined, uh, can't have its attack go up or down. Okay, we're going to continue this. Uh, we're going to summon this building over here, and we're going to block for some damage. We're also trying to get them to either not use their immunity, or not use their silence, because we have units here that uh, can't be silenced. Okay, so they did do their silence. That's that's okay. We did force them to do that so that they end up doing their stones. Because we have to get rid of these stones eventually, or we can find a way to go for some damage. But in this case, we have to go just slightly longer, just because of these stones that will actually give them health back. So that's why we're doing the little bit more of a board setup here. All right, so we got this unit here that deals damage whenever one of our units attacks. We'll summon this Blair. This Blair sets the range health to five. Hopefully that doesn't burn us. Oh boy, okay. So this unit here, it gives Metal Shield to one of their units whenever we attack. And unfortunately, it did give Metal Shield to the, um, what do you call? The Mina over here. So in this case, this Mina is still alive. We were originally using our building to destroy this, but now might not be able to anymore. Okay, uh, we're just gonna skip the turn so that we, we don't we don't force the trigger that much. So we'll skip the turn. Get our damage. Okay, and as you can see here, we did end up destroying these units. The uh, only issue here is now that they have a lot of these extra attack runes, which they can use to pierce through here. They summon a range unit here. We have, okay, so we are toast. Uh, so that was unfortunate. We didn't have a lot of attackers, so I guess that that is the issue with this particular squad. If we didn't have our Aphrodite die in the first couple of turns, we would have been okay. All right, so that was the battle. We're actually going to go back into the world event now because uh, I gotta keep keep on pace here. Yeah, rip, rip indeed. All right, so the hey, so this is the dead meat that they were talking about. All right, so the next journey boss here, uh, defeat dead meat. Okay, they do have a skill. So at the end of the turn, it summons a skeleton to the first row. Okay, so they'll have a blocker. Let's uh, let's go. Your people are so stubborn. Uh, you'd be surprised to know how stubborn I get when I face the undead. Your sense of humor is not going to save you. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, we'll do our summon, and we will continue. We'll summon, yeah, we'll summon this over here. This unit gives a health boost to our units at the end of the turn for every female, so it includes themselves. And then uh, we're pretty close to lethal right now. We're actually threatening lethal on two lines over here. So if they do block here, we'll attack over here. And then if they block here, vice versa. So you can see the skeleton at the first row. But there are no blockers over here. And we also dealt some damage at the beginning, so we'll just skip the turn. And there we go. Okay, so that was dead meat. Going to go to the roadmap. Collect our reward. Okay, looks like we did complete one of these quests already. So we leveled up one of the event rares level 13. We're going to just check out the top, see if we can get some additional runes. So we have speed up four chests, which you can only get in League. And then on top here as well, find 1200 souls of common heroes. We're not going to speed up any chests because that would require us to go battle in League and then wait for the chests to either uh, open up and use gems or just wait until the time goes, goes down. So we'll just claim our reward. We'll get our runes and we will move on. Okay, the next quest over here is to summon two times. We'll do that by going out of here, and then we'll go back to the shop. I made a dead meat die. <laughs> Indeed, I did. Uh, do we want to open up this one? Yeah, we, uh, we'll just open up the mercenaries, because we we know for sure we're getting mercenaries back. And so you can see, oh, okay. So we know eh, one more summon, and we can actually get that one done. So a mercenaries open does count. And so we'll just open up one more. Looks like we have summoned 2,000 times. That is how many times we have summoned. Okay, so we'll close that out. Okay, looks like that bar is almost complete too. We're gonna go to our quest, see if we can just claim some more stuff. 
some extra gems, so that's cool. Okay, going back to the roadmap. And claim our rewards, and we'll move on. So the final quest in Chapter 1, we have Defeat Devil, which is this one over here. So this actually gives us a little preview of what's going to be um, the boss at the end. The uh, reason why is because so we have those three legendary units, so because this one is actually a chapter one boss, we are not going to see them be the level three unit that will need to get to level 16 at the very end. So that's good to know. All right, so they have a skill here. So whenever one of their units appears, ally being them, it will deal damage to each one of the heroes on the board. Okay. So we'll see some damage happening to some of our units. Uh, stay away from my folk. I hate when humans scream. Why? I'm going to hurt you. Hurt you bad. Soon you'll learn that. Devil may cry too. <laughs> the puns. All right, we'll summon our range unit here. It already has enough attack to destroy. So there we go. Uh, why are they screaming? Their deaths are only natural. Then go after them. So he's not the Grim Reaper, but he's like, he, well, he, he, there were other devils before. It's so weird. Okay, so we'll claim our wards, and we are going to the beginning of chapter two. All right, we'll close up this ad over here. So biography for Mr. Devil, which is the guy we just beat. Uh, ancient as the darkness itself, Mr. Devil is notorious on Pangaea. His meanness is astonishing even by the standards of demons because he does not respect the unwritten laws of the lower worlds. But no one can deny that the help of Mr. Devil is sometimes irreplaceable. He can pull off any dark business and go unpunished. What a scamp. Okay, so we did get our rewards, so we'll get those. Okay, so we'll get some more stuff. And we're heading into chapter two. So chapter two here is Pangea revised, a mad necromancer and a freaking demon. The lady in purple is controlling them. It seems she really thinks that, sh that she's saving this world. It's time to make the lady change her mind. Okay, so it looks like this will be the boss for the end of chapter two. We'll have some epic necromancers here we'll get some epic scrolls for demigods and some more rewards sure. all right so let's head into chapter two okay the first quest here is to defeat the mistress okay looks like we are out of attempts right now so what we'll do is we will spend some gems in order to refill one event a boss attempt okay and looks like they do have a skill here so before one of our units attacks enemy being our units we'll give them negative attack sure all right yeah let's go Why are you refusing the inevitable? Join us and together we'll make Pangea better. Better or worse, this is my world. And people of Pangea won't be a slaves to anybody. True justice is one for everyone, Lord Protector. To gain your trust, I will even our chances. By killing us. <laughs> what a perverted sense of justice that they do have. Okay, well, we won't be able to one-shot them this time, so... Take a look at their units. So it has flight. It has whenever it dies, it freezes one of our units. So what we'll do is we'll do our summon. And then we'll continue on. We'll summon our range unit over here. Okay, as you can see, that skill did come in. So our unit did attack, and then it does get the negative attack, as you see over here. Okay, we did end up clearing their units because at the end. Here you have the skill here for the Arch Vampire to deal damage to all of their units. We'll do our immune summon over here. And there we go. Okay, so that was Mistress. Okay, going to the roadmap. Collecting our wards. And moving on. Okay, the next quest here is to open up the epic chest and event shop three times. So let's just see how much we do have for runes. Okay, so we're a little short right now. So what we'll do is we'll go first to our league. We do have a couple of chests that we did save from before the event started. So we'll open up these. Uh, we have this epic chest over here that gives, as you'll see here. Oh, it only gives 60. I thought it gave 100. Hmm, I, they might have. You know what? They might have actually lowered the amount of runes that you get from each of these chests. Hmm. Surprising. Okay. Uh, well, we'll open these up and try and get some more. 27. 
we have this rare one that you'll get and it gives you 40 so we're a little off right now might have to spend gems for the difference okay oh no what is going on this is you know what oh the um what do you call stream stuff it might actually be slowing down just because of the uh the new key is it working please let me know <laughs> i just saw all of it freeze for like five seconds okay okay well uh for those who are tuning in right now uh we are currently in the world event and uh we're kind of stuck in one of these um quests again so what we'll do is we're actually going to do some divine arena see if we can get some more runes so we can complete the next quest here so we'll go to the divine arena as you can see here it is new and open so we'll check it out okay uh we have a trixie on the left we have a harbinger of darkness on the right and we have in the flavor text here we're going to be winning without legendaries and epic souls and then commons are uh okay cool so a different type of battle here let's uh let's go Oh, they weren't lying. Okay. So let's take a look at their buildings. Okay, it deals damage to our units, negative attack, plus health, rust plus attack, and then also plus attack. Okay, so we want to keep this building alive if we can. We also want to destroy this building because it deals damage to some of our units. Look at the, the warlord skills, and you see here, uh, sets the attack of our units to one. We have this ranged unit with the decrease of attack to our units, and then plus attack to our range, uh, plus attack to their range units. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get rid of this building. We're gonna summon this unit with the high health and we'll place it actually in the middle here. So that way we can actually defend this lane if we need to. It also gives us options. So if we wanna summon a ranged unit behind, that's good, or another melee unit to help block for this line. Okay, so they summon this uh, melee unit here with a ranged summon behind themselves. We're going to summon another unit with high health. Send this over here, get rid of this building so that way we don't get our negative attacks anymore. And we'll get rid of this building too so that with this way they don't get a buff to their units. Okay, so we'll summon our other... Yeah, we'll summon this over here. Okay, so right now it's about, uh, it's about even. We do have three lanes covered. They have all of this lane here filled. So because of that, they can't, uh, unless they do an attack boost, they won't be able to deal more damage. Okay, this is fine. We will, let's see here, combat, combat. Sure, we will summon our unit here, this unit. We'll summon on the health room over here. This unit here, when it dies, it deals damage to units in the line. Then when it dies, it also gives plus attack to our chaos units. So we're actually wanting this unit to die so we can deal damage and then use our skills in order to destroy their field. What is this, this unit here? Sorry, I have to go stream. Okay, cool. Uh, well, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in uh, this morning. Uh, I'll I can uh, I'll check out your stream uh, shortly after. And uh, if you have your schedule there on, if you're streaming on Twitch, I'll be able to at least see it and then uh, check it out. So yeah, thanks. Uh, Thanks for coming by, Sasha Boss. I'll come here maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I uh, I think I'll, yeah, most likely I'll be streaming tomorrow, so that'll be good. Okay, so we did have our unit die from combat, and as a result, one of our units should have gotten an extra attack. Oh, <laughs> it gave it to this one, so that's that's unfortunate. All right, so we'll do our attack boost first. And then, as you see here, their units are marked for destruction, so we'll do that. Okay, they did get a health boost because this unit, when it dies, it gives health back to their warlord. So let's see, combat over here, combat over here. Uh, we'll summon our range unit over here to get rid of this here. Combat and then damage. And yeah, we're so we're in okay shape now. We're a little low on health. Okay, they did their first skill. So our attacks are now set to one. And okay, they got this unit here that has mental shield. So we'll have to get rid of that. We'll summon our... 
Yeah, okay. This is this is good. So we'll summon our unit here. It has an extra summon in front of themselves, so the zombie will break the metal shield. And then we'll have our range unit deal the combat damage to destroy this here. Okay, so again, we are low on health. Worst case scenario is they do their range summon, which they don't do. Okay, we'll do our own range summon. And we'll also follow it off with some... Yeah, we'll sort of follow with... Do we have enough for lethal, actually? Uh, 30, 70, 80, 90, about 100. All right, we're off by a little bit. But we'll we'll do as much combat damage as we can, so... So damage, damage. No, I don't know how to do math. We we were good. So we we yeah, okay. So it was good for us to go for damage there. All right, so we got the reward. Okay. We do get runes and agents here. This one actually gives a hundred. Oh, you know, okay, so they must have they must have downgraded my my chest. So that's fine. All right, so we gotta get one more so we can get three thousand. We'll do the harbinger of darkness side. Okay, so their skills are what we had from before. So the plus attack to chaos units, kill all wounded, and then summon the witches that deal damage, then also die at the beginning of the next turn. Buildings are in the same spot, and so we want to get rid of their buildings. We will summon this unit first. Yeah, we'll summon this unit first. This is, this is fine. So we're summoning this unit first because it does have the mental shield, so we can actually prevent the damage happening to it first. Uh, however, it does have low health, so most likely it will be destroyed, as shown right there. <laughs> okay, uh, let us avoid this for now. We'll summon this unit here to destroy this. Also has high health, and then also has a little buff to our unit, so it heals for a little bit. That's cool. And see, they are focusing on damage over here, and we don't have any range units that can immediately destroy this. So we'll have to use our skills in order to get around that. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. We will do our melee summon over here to break the building. Just go for some damage. This unit here deals damage to units in the line. It also has splash, so I actually deal extra damage to this area around. So in this case, these will actually be wounded. And because of that, we're actually going to have a much more difficult time to get this done. So let's see here. Just trying to uh, do some calculations. All right, so we'll do our first skill. We'll also then summon our range unit to get rid of this. Okay, they still have their other skills over here to kill all wounded. So in this case, it would be these over here. Okay, we're going to do our skill now. All right, so that's good. This is actually where we want to go in terms of placement. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're going to summon our melee unit over here. Gets the extra summon, which will allow us to destroy the summon and then also attack here. And then since these are the only two units that are available, we'll be able to set their attacks to one for a turn. Okay, so that's not good. We'll have combat over here. We have our, let's see, 55, 80. Okay, so it's pretty close to lethal right now. We're going to summon our melee unit over here just to block. This melee unit, when it dies, it gives plus attack to our units. So hopefully that'll be enough to get through for next turn. We are threatening lethal on these two lanes. They could still do their destruction skill, which would then set us back. Uh, next turn, however, we can get a plus attack to our range units, so that'll be kind of nice. Okay, so they chose not to use their buff. That's great. All right, so we'll do our attack boost to our range units, so 46 and 20. Okay, so that is enough right there. So we'll skip the turn to avoid any death triggers. And there you go. Okay, so that was the Harbinger of Darkness side. As you can see here, we had to use our skills because we didn't have the... We didn't have any type of removal, so we just went for damage early, and then eventually we were able to swarm through. Okay, so we got some runes, so that is the important part about this. We, the epics are nice too, but again, we need the 3,000 so that we can go back to the roulette. Close this out over here. Go back to the roadmap. And then, as you'll see here, roulette. 
All right, so we'll do our three purchases. Each one of these is 1,000, so we'll do our three. So number one, and it does count for the first one. Okay, not bad. Uh, we also know for a fact that uh, Shimuna is going to be the final boss for the end of chapter three. What is that? Some stuff here. All right, cool. So we're getting some more copies of the epic Shimuna. Okay. So that was good. We completed that quest. We'll go back to the roadmap, get our rewards, and move on. Okay, so we're in the first branch of chapter two. We have on the bottom here to summon demigods or gods ten times. We have on the top here, activate guild bonuses five times, and then find 1,000 souls of rare heroes. We're going to skip this one on the bottom because there is a quest in chapter three that will need us to spend even more gems, so we'll hold off on that. So we'll do this one here, activate guild bonuses five times. Close this out, go to the guild, and then we will go to the guild bonuses. We'll activate any five, and in this case, we are going to. Or we'll, we'll activate this evolve one over here. We're going to need this boost one over here in the end. And then we'll give a temporary attack boost to all three of our factions. So. Number one here. Number two here for uh, nature. Oh, I should have gotten the attack boost over here. It's down here. They put them in different spots. That's weird. All right. And for chaos over here, this one is number three. And there we go. So we have the activate guild bonuses five times. Go to the roadmap and we'll collect our rewards. Water is good. Okay, the next quest over here is to find 1,000 souls of rare heroes. We will go back to the roadmap once again, and we'll go back to our inbox over here, this inbox on the left. <laughs> cool. So we'll go to our rewards. We have been requesting souls throughout the weeks, and as you see here, we have these rares. So we'll get those. Okay, and it does count towards the 1,000 souls. So that's cool. We'll collect these while we're here. Probably should have not done that because could have used that for a different quest. So that's fine. Uh, we'll go now to the um, we'll go to the mighty pass over here, and there are some chests over here that you can open. So we'll open up this rare one over here, and you see it does count. So we'll open that one up, and there we go. You can also open up the chests in the shop and as well as quest and the uh, what do you call? The league as well so plenty of places where you can actually get the rarest these are just the uh, ones i need to open up anyways let's see what else is going on here okay cool we do have some fables here that are going to double up so we'll actually get some we'll get a legendary if we do open one uh, demigods eventually but that'll be for another time it'll happen soon enough excuse me all right so we'll get our rewards and move up the next quest over here is to defeat corwin We'll go to the bosses over here. We are out of attempts again, so we'll spend some more gems. And looks like they do have a skill. So at the end of turn, we'll summon a skeleton to the first row. Okay, so it is an upgrade of the skills we saw from before. And so we'll have to keep that in mind. Pangea belongs to us. You just don't know it yet. You see it all happened before. I don't care. Call off your henchmen. No can do, I'm afraid. Okay, so they did some of their skeleton and it goes at the end of turn but wait we i thought we started first all right that's weird all right well if that's the case we'll do our summon and we'll actually summon our range unit here on the attack rune hopefully this will be enough for damage and there we go cool so we used our aphrodite skill to actually mark one of these units for damage that can deal damage to the warlord and so that's why we got the first turn over there and we'll go back to the roadmap, select the rewards, and we'll move on. Looks like we did complete another one of these quests to soulbind one of the event rares, or uh, event rares five times. Let's just check out the bottom quest over here on the next branch. So find 1,400 souls of the event epics. And so that is actually why we did the uh, the guild bonus with the evolve, so that we can we can get some more copies once we do evolve, which will help up for this quest here. We have this other quest over here to boost legendary heroes four times. If you don't have enough copies of the cards, we can just do this one using Soul Dust. So 
but for the time being we will we'll do this one here so we'll close this out we'll go to the squad and since we we actually know who the boss is is going to be for the next one we'll just see here i'm actually going to see if we have all three of them uh so let's see so shamoon is at 16 so this one is done also at 16 and then mr devil he is at oh he's also at 16 so we don't have to worry about that all right cool all right, so we will actually evolve into those. So we'll filter for chaos, we'll filter for rares, and then we will. And yeah, we have 30k here. That's fine. All right, so agency, we can then evolve these to the maximum. Sure. All right, and as you see, we do have the 1400 souls, so that's cool. We're also going to do our request over here just to clear up some administrative stuff. This is where we start requesting the souls so that uh, we have the rares for the world event. You can also request commons too, but this just helps out a lot more in terms of uh, you know card building. All right, so we got our rewards and we will move on. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we're currently on the world event. We just finished Divine Arena and we will be heading to Pit. Uh, Hopefully in the next 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so the next quest here is defeat Stench. We'll, we'll get another boss attempt. Okay, they do have a skill. So whenever one of our whenever one of their units appears, we'll do damage to all of our units, including theirs. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Human smell of despair. <laughs> You're gonna smell of blood. Rude. Uh, we will do our summon first to deal some damage to their buildings. Uh, we'll also summon our range unit over here to give us some protection behind. Okay, we did destroy one of their buildings, and we are threatening lethal now with these two units over here. Okay, uh, we'll just summon our range unit over here. Should be all set for damage. And there we go. Okay, so that was Stench over there. Go to the roadmap, select our awards, and we'll move on. Okay, so we have another branch here. Let's take a look at the quest down here. So spend 15,000 runes. And then on the top here, we have spend 1,300 copper coins. And then behind that, a soul bind the event epic six, uh, five times here. We're going to hold off on doing this quest here because we do need our runes for other chests in chapter three. So we'll do the quest up here. So spend 1300 copper coins. We will close this out here. We'll go to the dungeon of trials to open up the shop and then we'll need to do some spending of 1300. Uh, I just wanna see if we can get some stuff we need. So here's a thousand. So that's 300 you can see there. And you know, we could actually use more of this. This is fine. Let's see if we can cap up. Yeah, we'll get some more of these. So we'll spend our 2,500. All right, so we did do a combination of the two. And actually, you should have just saw if, because we're trying to set up for some other quests too, particularly about setting up this hunt for later. But this is fine. We spent our coins and we'll move on. And see here, we also did soul bind the event epics uh five times you can actually do this particular quest before the event started and since this is kind of a repeat of a, another event so that's why we have this one done okay and so we now have this next quest here it is defeat pythonus okay gonna refill and they have these skills here so before one of our units attacks we'll give them negative attack and then whenever the warlord is attacked they will give mental shield to one of their units so a little bit more protection and a little uh, less for attack. So yeah, let's uh, let's go. One of your soldiers told me that it's all happened before. What did he mean? Uh, once in a millennia, the Celestials bring new order to the Seven Worlds. That's the way it is. Never heard of such things, and I love reading, you know? But you never heard of us. Nope. Uh, do you feel in charge now? All right, so we'll do our summon once again. We'll summon our range unit over here to actually spread out the damage. And you see here, we did attack their warlord. We did give them mental shield, but they did take lethal. So there we go. All 
Okay, so we'll go to the roadmap. We will collect our rewards. And as you see, we did complete another one of these quests, so that's good. Uh, all right. Oh, it's the one on the bottom right. We're going to take a look at the top two quests here. So spend 1,000 gems, and then behind it is reborn the event epics five times. This is where we're going to spend some gems. So we will activate our hunts. Okay, you can see that you have 800. And I should actually take a look at this. This, this uh, previous time when I did the hunt, I actually missed doing a lot of the quest. So let's see what we do have here. So speed up, epics, born epics. Okay. Yeah, the, these two quests here, open the epic chest and the summon demigods. These are typically the worst. However, since we are in the world event, we do need to do these quests at some point. So this will actually be pretty good now. Okay. So yeah, eventually we'll get these done. So that's fine. We need to spend 200 gems somewhere else. So what we'll do is, where can we spend 200 gems? Uh, we can go back to the black market, see if we can get some stuff. Uh, what level is the guy here? Oh, okay. This is actually not too bad. Uh, this one's actually not too bad either. That's 600. This one's on the reborn. We are running low on gems, so we don't want to spend too many. So we'll just spend it for here. We can also potentially open this up for later. So we'll just spend our 300 gems to get some more copies of this. And we got this one because it does eventually evolve into this one, which we're trying to get to level 16 anyways, so that's why. So we spent the 1,000 gems. That way we can get some epic, uh, what do you call Well, we can get some souls for our pet and then also get some sparks over here. Or runes, rather. All right, so we'll open up the bottom one here and collect our rewards. And we'll move on to this quest over here. So this quest here is to get three legendary heroes in summons or in chests, except event shops. Uh, I'm just going to do some math here as we prepare for the next couple of boss. So 200, 335, and okay. So, okay. So we can actually hold off on those. So that's nice. All right. So we're going to open up these two legendary chests that we do have. As you see, it does count towards the summons or in chests, and it also does give us some runes. Okay, so that one's good too. We'll go now to the pit and then start to get this done. We're going to swap out our warlord for the pirate and then also equip our pet as well. Okay, and so now we will do pit. Okay, as you can see, we do have this boss that has very low health. We were setting them up for the past couple of days. So this way we can get the legendary chest. And so yeah, let's uh, let's just get this one done. I'm just gonna throw just a random unit out there. Oh, we don't have our random unit anymore. That's fine. We'll just do our shuffle. See if we can get some weaker units. They're actually all pretty decent. Yeah, uh, sure. Well, I'll just on this range to get it through. Okay, so we did defeat the Flambert Furious. So that's good. We got a legendary just. Which you can see here, it does count for this quest, so that is why we held off. Got some runes as well. Okay, we have these next bosses, but we're going to wait until the next set of quests, which are going to happen in Chapter 3. So we will check back in on Pit shortly, assuming we can get through the next uh, big quest here. All right, so we got some runes, and now we are back to the bosses here. So now we're defeating Necro. Uh, gotta switch... I was thinking of switching. Uh, yeah, we'll switch back just to get through. So we'll just switch back our Warlord. We're going to keep the pet off for now because it doesn't look like it's going to affect our units that much. So we'll go back there, go back to the roadmap. Okay, we go defeat Necro, spend some more gems. And you see, we are starting to run a little low, but that is okay. We can get some more for later. Okay, at the beginning of the turn, it will summon a Death Whelping, and we'll figure out what that does when we get there. There are no Celestials, are there? You've just made this up to conquer our world. Uh, yes, we thought that if we make people believe that we are the higher authority, they would give up Pangea. And what do you really want? We'll merge our worlds with yours, and, you'll, you, ha and you have a front row seat. This guy is Shao Kahn, trying to merge the realms. All right, so we'll do our melee summon, so that's good. 
Okay, you opened up. So that's even better. We'll summon our range unit over here. Spread out the damage. Okay, we have this death whelping over here that has reborn, flight, and the metal shield is happening from this building over here. And we summon this range unit to deal some damage to their units at the beginning of the turn, assuming one of our units are still alive. As so you see here, the damage, so that's good. We'll summon our... Yeah, we'll summon our melee unit over here. And see, this unit does have reborn, so it does come back. That's okay. It was then destroyed by the skill over... Whoops. Skill over here. And we are threatening lethal in three lanes, so it should be all set here. I was going to sneeze here. I might actually sneeze. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are you from? Uh, what lower world? You are from lower worlds, right? <laughs> yes, the seventh sector. The land of the fallen gods. All right, so we defeated the Necro, so that's good. Okay, go back to the roadmap. Collect our rewards. It's chugging along a little bit. All right, that's fine. So this is the end of chapter two, the biography for Necro Master Lish. Uh, studying necrom necromancy has been strictly prohibited by the Council of Mages for centuries. But Necro, a gifted wizard, learned most of its secrets and started a group called Cult of the Damned. It was the first step towards the Great War. All right, so we'll claim our rewards. and see here. And now we're on Chapter 3. So as we said, uh, just by process of elimination, the Shamuna is now the boss. So we'll go for that. So Chapter 3, these are not Celestials. No, they are not Celestials. The trio came here from the seventh sector of the Lower Worlds. This dimension is full of egomaniacs. Their plan is to merge two different planes of existence into one, and it is possible to do that just once. Yeah, they stole the plot from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So these are rewards. We're going to get a thousand Shamunas if we do complete this. We'll get some Demigod Scrolls. We'll get this nice little medal and also rewards. So that's cool. All right, heading into Chapter 3. It's these. All right. So we have Defeat Fallen. Go over there, get some more boss attempts. Excuse me. All right. Uh, so whenever one of their units appears, we'll deal damage to every unit. And then whenever one of their units dies, it will give plus attack to another one of their units. Sure. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. You didn't expect us to fight back, did you? Among all other worlds, Pangea is the fattest piece. I uh, never would have considered Pangea being the fattest piece, but sure. All right, so we will start with our... Hmm, this is actually kind of weird. Eh, we'll start with our melee and whatnot. Get some extra damage out on the board early. I forgot we don't have our pet, so because of that, our units don't get a health boost. And because they don't get a health boost, they're not going to deal as much damage because of the Aphrodite over here. Uh, but that's fine. So they got this unit here. When it comes into play, it gives Metal Shield to their Warlord. You can see here, so they can take some damage. We'll do our summon over here to break the shield. Also silence this unit so that when it gets attacked, it won't give them plus health. And we are threatening lethal now. And on top of that, we will be able to deal damage to their units at the beginning of the turn, which will help us mark their units for destruction to wipe out the board. All right, looks like we don't even have to do that anymore. So we'll just skip the turn. And there you go. Okay, so that was Fallen, so that's good. Go to the roadmap. Claim our wards. And we'll move on. So this is the quest that I was talking about from before. Uh, for those who are tuning in right now, we're currently in the World Event. We just finished some Divine Arena, and we'll probably get into Pit fairly shortly. All right, so this is a spot where you have to spend a lot of runes. So the quest here is to open legendary chest and event shop four times. We'll go to the roulette. And you see here, we currently have 12,000 sparks. Each one of these is 5,000. So total of 20,000. Hopefully we'll get some bonus sparks. As you can see here, or bonus runes rather. Right, so we'll open up a chest. Okay, that's no good. 
open up another chest. That's also no good too. Okay, so we do have the option to actually spend some more in order to get it open. So we'll spend some we'll spend some gems seems here. We'll spend some gems to get the difference. So 690, 220. Just do some math. So that'll put it at 20. Oh boy. I'll put it at 20. Oh, it should still be enough. All right, we'll take the chance. We'll open up another one of these. All right, so that's number three. Got some Shimuna, so that's not good. Uh, we're going to save our bonus chest for later because we can use that for a quest at the end of chapter three. So we'll do one more spend over here. I do not recommend this if you are low on gems or if you've just started this event because you'll be spending a lot of gems that you'll need for the next couple of quests. But this is fine. We'll do our spend. And we did get our final one over here. We did get some bonus runes, so that's good. And we're going to hold off on opening this chest until later on. You could open it now if you know for sure that you can't get the Shimuna to level 16, which is one of the quests over here at the end. You see here, level 16. But we do save it so we can open the bonus chest in Event Shop three times. And yeah, there's some other quests over here, but uh, you most likely you won't be able to open up the God's Chest unless you have VIP 7, and also you'll need 15,000 gems as well. So that's why we're going to do it. All right, so we'll complete the quest. We'll get some runes. And now we will on, be on this branch here. So on the bottom here is to get 600 souls of legendary heroes in summons and chests. Except event shop and divine arena chests mean that you can't get them from the roulette. And then on the top here, we have defeat other players using the skin spider queen two times. And then also boosting the event legendaries nine times. So we'll do this quest here first. Defeat other players using the skin spider queen. You will need to purchase it in your squad. Uh, we do have it, however, because it is a skin that stays with you permanently once you buy it with gems. So we do have it. This is a Spider Queen. We just need to defeat some players using the Spider Queen. So we'll do the same thing like we did in Chapter 1. We will go defeat some Disciples. Just going here. We'll face the level 30 because those are typically the lowest of levels. And we have our Spider Queen over here. Just do a summon. So this one is number one. We'll do it one more time. And you see these battles do go by pretty quickly. So that is why we go fight the disciples. And we'll do our summon once again. And there you go. So that was Spider Queen over there. We're now going to switch our warlords back to the pirates. And then also the pet is ready, so that's good. We're also going to claim our rewards. Okay, claim our rewards over here. And then we do have the option to do this battle, or this quest over here, but we're going to do this one here. So we're going to get the 600 souls. We're going to go now back to the pit, as mentioned before. So we do have this boss over here. It will give us some legendary, so that's 335. And then this one here will give us enough if we can get it through. Uh, let's take a look at this boss here. So Jerry the Buffoon, look at their skills. So whenever block is triggered, meaning we attack one of their heroes or warlord with block, it will swap the attack and the health of one of our units, enemy being us. Every third turn, we'll set the attack of one of our units to zero. And then at the uh, end of each eighth turn, we'll set all the units attack on our side to zero. So these skills will actually work together. If we have zero attack, if it's swapped, it'll turn to zero health, and then it will destroy that unit. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do, and uh, let's go. Okay, first things first, we'll do our damage pentagrams. As you can see here, they're in pretty decent spots, uh, especially since they are behind the buildings. So we're going to hold off on destroying these buildings. We're going to Place some units behind here, probably get rid of this building so that we can start attacking this line over here. Seeing what else we can do. We'll start with this unit here with the high health. And I guess we can destroy the building too. I mean, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll see you know, something this to destroy the building. Because we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to attack the lane eventually, so might as well. There you got these buildings here that gives plus health to one of their units, so we will destroy these buildings. We'll summon a ranged unit next turn to destroy this. 
Okay, so you got this unit here that does attack steal, gives skill to allies to attack steal, and then also freezes one of our units if attack steal is triggered. Okay. Uh, seeing if we want to use stronger units. Yeah, this is fine. We'll summon our range unit over here. Destroy this building. Also comes into play, deals damage to one of their range units, and then the damage pentagram will then destroy this here. So that's good. So next turn here, uh, one of our units will have their attack set to zero. Oof, okay. So we do want to get rid of this unit here. It gives a toxin and then also deals damage to one of our units if it does destroy. Uh, seeing if we want to use shuffle now. We're actually going to hold off on using this unit. This one unit is actually pretty good. And I think we're going to be able to get this boss done pretty quickly. So do shuffle. Do buy stronger your unit. 66. This one here is 55. Nope. So we'll do shuffle again. Okay. Uh, 77. 88. Okay. So that's good enough. So we'll do our summon over here. So damage. Damage destroy that. So that's good. And this unit, when it does attack, it, it comes back with another copy and also does splash damage. So that is, we're okay using up this unit, particularly because it's so random in its uh, nature when you use it. So might as well just get rid of it now. Okay, so we'll get another copy. So that's good. We're going to summon a range unit over here. I'm just going to actually waste the, what do you call it? The summon over here, because we do want to get rid of this bad unit. So we destroy that. We also got some health back because these melee kills with the splash will also give plus health back to our warlord over here. Okay, uh, we'll summon another range unit to get through here. Do we need to use our final shuffle? Uh, sure, why not? Actually, no, we'll, sh we'll pull off on our shuffles. We do want to get rid of this unit here. So we'll summon our range unit. I guess we could have given this an attack boost using our, uh, what do you call, our dust, but we could also use it for another quest. This is fine, though. We usually end up running over with our units, so this is fine. Just want to save some of the better units for other bosses. All right, so we got this unit here that has block to itself, also has spikes, and then block over here. Uh, let's see, comment over there, comment over here. We do want to save these melee spots so that we can actually do our summons. So what we'll do instead is we'll summon this unit here. It has some attack steal, so that's cool. And also we do want to keep these spots open so that we can do our, uh, our bald summons, as you can see here. Okay, so another set to zero. Excuse me. Now, these units both have flight, so that is also why we can stop the damage from these units here. Hmm, Mr. Flap. Okay, great. Uh, we'll summon another melee unit over here. Summon this unit here, that when it dies, it gives Metal Shield to our Warlord. Key thing as well, it also has high health and which could potentially help us once the attack swap does occur. All right, so next turn, all of our units will be set to zero attack. Okay, we're gonna leave these spots open as mentioned before. And since all of our spots are actually open, we're going to just hold off on here. We're gonna skip the turn. Okay, so this is good. Next turn, we'll have another unit having their attack set to zero. The key thing for this particular unit, so it does give an attack boost at the end for every wounded unit that's on their side. And it looks like it's gone, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we want to do that. We'll summon our melee unit here with the high health. Break through there. And we do want to keep these melee spots open so that we can get our summons and then also do these other summons as well, just in case. So this is, where are these? Okay, oh, the uh, damage runes were coming off of the Confucius over here. So that's why. All right, so our range unit is finally destroyed. 
Uh, the reason why is because this unit steals, a ta uh, steals attack from ranged units. So in this case, it was actually set to one and then it swapped over. We'll hold off on our summon. So once again, we'll skip a turn. Combat there, combat there. And uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape right now. We still do have our flight units. If this unit dies, we'll follow up with our range, our melee unit here with the, uh, the flight. Okay, uh, it's unfortunate now because we need to get rid of this unit because it gives plus health to their units. We'll do our shuffle, see if we can get a range. We do get a range, so that's good. Summon this one over here. As you can see, the Mr. Flap, it does set the uh, the health of our units to one. So that is why we are taking some damage. And we did lose one of our units. That's that's okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. We'll have combat over here, combat over here. We have our damage over here. We'll summon our range unit. Uh, this range unit, when it comes into play, it summons a life palace in front of themselves. They also remove negative effects at the end. And so that will actually remove some of the, uh, the, what do you call it? setting the attack to a, setting the attack to one I can see here. So that's good. It doesn't remove the effect from itself, but it removes it from everybody else. So that's good. All right. Uh, we'll, let's see here. We can do that, that, that we'll summon our range unit over here just to get rid of it out of our squad how is this getting a health boost i'm trying to figure out. oh any female appears okay that's why so we are getting a little bit of a combo to keep our units alive okay well it's still alive so that's good too we're going to continue on. We'll summon this unit over here. Give some health back to our units as well. And we're in pretty good shape. We have the melee unit that has been getting health because of this epic Yoster, the Sunrise Maiden, as they're called. Giving health to our buildings as well. We do have our vaults as an attacker. And then also we have this unit here with the metal shield and also gets metal shield at the end. Nice. All right. Uh, we're going to skip another turn because we still have attackers. Don't want to do our summons quite yet. Okay. And we're pretty close to lethal. We have, let's see, about 100, about 200, 200, 300, 300. Okay. So we need at least one more turn. You don't want to do our building summon because this one is actually very good for later on. So we'll skip the turn. More combat. Okay, and we are threatening lethal next turn. So we will use all of our skills. Just waiting for the right time to do so. Okay, might not want to do it anymore. Yeah, we're summoning over there. Oh, okay, this is fine. All right, so we'll do our summon. And you see, when we do do a summon, some of our units are marked with the toxin skill over here. We'll give an attack boost to our units, which in this case are the male ones over here. We'll do our sudden deaths. And that should be enough to put us over the edge. All right, so we'll skip the turn. We'll do our combat. Okay, since all of our spots are full, we don't get the bolt summon, which is actually good because then we don't give our units toxin. And there we go. Hi, sorry I'm late. Welcome, one two one three four <laughs> official. Yeah, we uh, yeah, well, it's all right. You know, we're just still in the world event right now. The uh, what do you call it? the replay will be up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. But yeah, we're uh, currently in uh, chapter three of the world event. We're just doing some pit bosses because we're on one of these quests. And uh, yeah, so now we are on Mister Souvenir. Let's take a look at their skills. So at the start of the turn, we'll give one of their units a skill. That will, whenever they attack, they make one of our units bleed, or make the unit that they attack bleed. Every third turn, we'll give our units uh, bleeding. And well, actually, every third turn, we'll deal damage to our units that have bleeding. And then on the fifth turn, we'll make all of our units bleed. 
So yeah, so there you go. So a lot of bleeding that is going to happen to our units. Yeah, so we'll need some sort of healing, and I guess we probably should have saved the Alexandria. That was a unit from before that removes the negative skills. Should have saved for that, but this is fine. I also know that this boss is typically going to be a little harder, so I might have to use another attempt, but that's okay. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's go. I have to switch our warlord too, as I think about it. All right, so we will. Let's see how we want to do this. Okay, so we'll start with our damage pentagrams first. We got some double coverage on this lane too, and it's actually behind the building, so that's good. We're going to... I don't want to give our units bleeding, so what is going to happen is we're going to set this up in such a way that... We have that, that... All right, so we'll do this one first. Yeah, so we're going to summon this Goliath behind the building. This Goliath deals damage to units whenever one of our units come into play. And we're trying to set it up so that we don't trigger off a bleeding if this does get bleeding. Okay, so that's good. Okay, now we gotta find a way to get rid of this Dominus, which is really bad. Okay, uh, this unit also deals seven, oh, it deals 17, okay. So that's actually not too bad. Move around. Okay, uh, we'll summon our melee unit over here to give it some protection. Give this one protection over here. Okay, uh, I did land on a damage pentagram, so we'll be able to deal some damage to that. Hopefully we can do our summons for next turn and then wipe out this Dominus, which is going to get an attack. Uh, it not only gets an extra attack, it will get a health boost for every unit that does destroy. All right, so that's not good. Uh, let's see here. Got this unit here that deals bleeding to units except chaos. So what we're actually going to do is avoid summoning non-chaos units if we can. And see here we do got some damage, so that's good. Summon our ranged unit over here. Let's see combat, combat. Yeah, this is fine. We'll summon our chaos unit over here. Try to deal enough damage, which we do. So that's good. So we got damage, damage, and as you can see here, the units here that did get marked for bleeding are the non-chaos units. So we also have to keep in mind the timers over here. In two turns, all of our units are going to get bleeding. Got this unit here that gives bleeding before our units attack, and then also gives plus health to uh, bleeding uh, units if they do bleed. So we will, let's see, so this will die from bleeding, and as a result, this unit will get plus health. This unit, I gotta see which ones have the bleeding here. This one doesn't, and but this one does, and but it is behind the melee, so we can't attack. So that's good. We'll do a shuffle. See if we can get some more attackers. This one's pretty nice. We can actually save uh, this one here. It removes negative effects from units around himself. So we're going to set up in such a way that we can remove the bleeding once we get rid of this unit. Just so gotta do the right damage here. Alright, so we'll summon our range unit here. This range unit, it gives another summon whenever it attacks, and then also does poison when it attacks as well. Okay, so it is now destroyed, so that's cool. We're actually going to save this unit for the next turn. So once our units do get bleeding, we'll remove as much bleeding as we can from the units. In this case, it will actually be these over here and this one here. Oh, even better. Great. Uh, do you want to sum this over here? It was there. Trying to just do some setups over here. Because I don't, I want to get rid of this bleeding as soon as I can. So we're going to leave this melee spot open so that we can do our summon over here. We'll summon our, we'll summon our dark over here. Cool. Deal some damage. So that's cool. Okay, so as you see, all of our units now do get bleeding. We will then summon our melee unit to get rid of the bleeding on these two particular units. And we don't mind having the summons that we got from the plant die, because in that... Oh, boy. Wow, you you tricky person. Okay, so what they did is they summoned a Madam Agony. It transforms our wounded units. So in this case, it was these over here. Uh, this will die next turn, so that's good. Do we want to get rid of the bleeding? Yeah, yeah, we still will. That's fine. So we'll summon our unit over here. We remove the bleeding over here. Okay, we did take some damage at the very beginning because that unit does have a skill to deal damage to our maximum health units. That's fine. OK, 
Okay, and we did lose our Goliath, so no more of our setup. So that's unfortunate. All right, well, we'll summon a unit to destroy this unit. That oops, has evasion and that also gives plus attack. It also gives toxin. So I guess we could have saved it for this one too, but you can't blame for that. Uh, we'll summon our melee unit over here to deal extra damage. Okay, and get rid of that. Get some health back because of the melee kill. Okay, we did have the toxin skill. That's fine. Losing the attack, but that's okay. We can still give an attack to our male units later on, which are these over here. And then this unit is going to die from its bleeding, but that is okay too. So do we want to destroy that? Thinking about some stuff here. So extra damage. Oh yeah, this is fine. So we'll summon our Shaolin. Our Shaolin gives extra attack whenever it attacks. Okay, losing our bleeding unit, that's fine. Combat over here. Okay, saying the health to one. Okay, next turn, the skill will deal damage to units with bleeding. So in this case, it'll be this one. Nope, not bleeding, okay. It's tough to see because usually they do have these symbols to show you what the skills are, but that's okay. Okay. Uh... This is fine. We'll hold off on using our larger units for now. Summon our ranged unit behind here. We don't need the attack boost quite yet, as we are not uh, we're not close enough to lethal, and we're not attacking anything. So we're going to hold off on our skills uh, to give an attack boost to our melee units. Our units are also slowly gaining health because of the dark skill here. So before one of their units attacks, we'll give plus health to our units. Okay, so this will be a time where we actually do the attack boost. So we'll do attack boost. Our units will get bleeding next turn. So because of that, we're going to... Eh, you know, we'll summon this over here. We'll summon this over here. That's fine. So I'm going to summon this building because buildings can't get bleeding. It will also give extra attack to one of our units at the end. Okay, you can see the bleeding over there. You got the damage happening from the damage pentagrams. And we are getting closer to lethal. We do have this unit with the extra attack, so we'll deal with roughly about 300. And if they end up destroying this, we still have our summoners over here. And then we have this unit here. So, yeah, we got enough time to summon some more buildings. So that's cool. We'll do that. Uh, might as well summon the building to help us block. This building, not only does it summon zombies in front of themselves, they also get a witch whenever they're attacked. The only problem is the witch can only be summoned in ranged spots, so we wasted the summon over here, and the zombies can only happen in front of the gate, so we also wasted the gate over here. Oh, that's fine. All right, so we have our combat over here. They did transform our stuff once again. So that's, I guess, that's where the bleeding comes in, followed by the transform. Uh, we'll summon our summon our melee unit over here to get some health back. Also destroy this unit. And uh, yeah, we're in decent shape right now. We have these three lanes covered by buildings. We have a unit here with uh, immunity and the divine shield. And we're just going for some more damage right now. So we'll summon another, we'll summon a melee unit to deal some damage. Okay, just got to get rid of this. And we also see here that our sudden deaths are stacking up a little bit. So if it does come to that time, we'll deal the extra damage to the uh, warlord. So let's just see if they do get a health boost. They will not, but they will be destroyed by the damage pentagram. So that's good. We're going to summon a chaos unit to get through here. And the bleeding. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we'll summon the chaos unit over here. So that way it doesn't get bleeding. Only this unit over here. And that's fine. If it does die, it dies. And we are threatening lethal. Uh, pretty close. This spell 150. We do have these death runes that we did get from the... TNT at the very beginning of the battle. All right, so let's see here. We'll summon this unit here because of the low attack stats. Just want to get rid of some bad units while we still can. 
And we do currently have lethal because we have these sudden deaths. So we'll just do some shuffles. Actually, no, we can get rid of this building. We know that for sure. So if they do block, okay, that's fine. We'll summon our building, get rid of it. And there you go. That was Mr. Souvenir. Usually that's one of the tougher battles, but we did have a good setup in the beginning with our chaos units and our goliaths. And then we just followed up with some removing of the negative effects and we got the, uh, got the extra stuff. Okay. So that's cool. We got our extra souls. So we're now done with that quest. Uh, we have these other two bosses, which we can do a preview of. Let's take a look at Misty Overwatch. So whenever one of their units dies, it will give an extra attack to two of their units, or a random ally twice. Every fourth turn, we'll give evasion to their units. And then every sixth turn, we'll deal damage to our units for every range unit on our side. So we'll try not to summon as many range units. We have to destroy units on their side before they get evasion. And then we need to make sure we destroy all of their units uh, in one time so that they don't get the extra attack. Okay. And then we also have Killing Smile over here. Let's take a look at their skills. So at the end of the turn, we'll give plus attack to their Chaos units. Every third turn, we'll kill one of our units. And every fifth turn, we'll kill all of our units. So I guess we should have saved our immune units because now uh, all of our units are pretty much vulnerable. Uh, probably need to save a summoner for after the fifth turn. Uh, and then also here, we'll need to do some summons in order to compensate for our, us losing enemies. And also plus attack over there. All right, cool. So we can check back in on Pit possibly tomorrow i think yeah all right so we'll claim our stuff let us go back to the roadmap some long battles over there but that's okay collect our souls and we'll move on so the next quest over here is defeat liar uh, we're gonna hold off on switching our warlord this is fine all right so we have these skills here before one of our units attacks we'll give them negative attack for 50 percent and then also whenever the warlord is attacking, we give mental shield to two of their units. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's go. You can stop lying, lady. I know the truth about you because you're the liar, right? What? What are you talking about? You're doing it again. I hate liars. Okay, uh, we'll do our damage pentagrams first. Okay, we got some nice coverage over here with the three damage pentagrams. So we'll see if we can put some more units over there uh how do i want to do this oh okay you know we'll summon this over here so we'll summon this uh charn over here gets the two extra attack runes and that'll allow us to deal some extra damage this unit also transforms into a building so that way it won't get affected by the uh, negative attack for later and you see it does give mental shield to one of our units we were trying to set up in such a way that we can get some extra attack runes over here but what are you gonna do Okay, so we got that over there. We'll continue with our leader, Nilin. Our leader, Nilin, will free some units. Okay, that's fine. Okay, oh, we probably should have done uh, race instead. That way we can get rid of these buildings. But I was trying to set up for some extra summons because we're going to try and go for a one-shot kill here. So we'll summon on the extra attack room. Actually, no, we'll do it this way. We'll do our summons first. That is not what I wanted to do. Because uh, now these things are going to be still alive. Oh, not even enough damage. What am I doing? There's not even enough damage anymore. <laughs> All right, that's fine. We'll summon our grace on the extra attack room. So that way we can get rid of this building. Okay, got some damage over there. And there we go. I'm going to send you back to the seventh sector. The seventh sector? What? Oh no, I thought it was a dream. Please, I'll do whatever I can to make things right. Fine, but don't even think about betraying me. You got it? I wonder if the dialogue changes for every, uh, if we use a different warlord. But we'll never know since we only get this uh, dialogue once. <laughs> Sadness. Okay, so we'll collect our rewards and we'll move on. Okay, so the next branch here uh, is uh, on the bottom here. So we have spent 40,000 runes. And then on the top here, summon demigods or gods 20 times. And then behind it, we have the soulbind, the event legendaries nine times. So in order to get this one done, we'll need either demigods or gods 20 times. We usually do the demigods because this is the one where you spend less gems. 
Let's see how many gems we actually do have. Oh, so we only have a thousand. That's unfortunate. All right, so in this case, we will actually spend for some gems. So let us see what we do have available. Checking some stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one could be okay. Got to find some, some nice stuff over here. We need roughly about like 1,500 gems. So see what we can get in the shop. Just doing some on the fly math. Uh, this one could be okay. We get some gems and then also get some runes as well. Just seeing if we, okay. This one is one for, what level are Madame Mac? All right, so level 16 with that, 999. But then this one here on the rune shop gets roughly uh, for 500, so 2000 gems. So roughly double the cost over there. This is the first time in stream where I actually have to get some purchases. So just gonna, should have calculated this before. I didn't think that we we're gonna end up using this many gems. Uh, we did use a lot of gems because we had to buy the, uh, what do you call it, the legendary chest from the roulette at some point. So let's see here. Yeah, this one's actually not too good. <laughs> what is this here in the monthly? Okay, so it's looking like the, uh, what do you call Oh, this one is 65, 2000 over here, there. I guess getting runes wouldn't actually be so bad. These are, let's see, and they don't nail in other stuff. There's one other spot where we can buy some stuff. It is in this shop. And we'll see what we can get here. Oh, you know what? Here we have these demi. Oh, you know, I'm 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 tripping up. So we do have epic scrolls and they do they can be used to summon demigods, so we don't even need the gems anymore. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, might as well just check these out since we could potentially be buying things. So in the gem shop. Alright, so this one here for 45. This one yeah, you get four thousand gems for that, but nothing else. Rather get some cards. Yeah, use our gems. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. So in this case, we can actually do our demigod summons without the gems, which is nice. All right, so we'll do that. Now we'll do a 10x. You can see here we do have 32, so that's actually good enough for there. Some of the demigods are gods sometimes, so we'll open that up once. And as you can see, we are actually finish finishing off some of our hunt quests as well, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, got some frost. That's good. Okay, got double copies of the rare Shimuna. And I wonder if they actually do give us a discount off the scrolls. No, it does not. So in this case, we can actually just hold off. We can... Oh, we do have some rewards over here. Might as well collect those. Okay, got some Bastet. So that's good. I wonder what the next one here is. Oh, okay, so it's, it seems like it's always going to be 335. All right. Normally you do get a discount off of a 10X, but since we're not using gems, that's probably why that's the case. So we'll do another summon of 10X. Okay, and we'll see what we get here. Okay. What's the legendary this time around? It used to be two legendaries for every 10X, but now it's only guaranteed at one at the very minimum. But Maybe we'll get two, but we'll see. Oh, we got none. <laughs> or maybe I just missed it, but that's okay. We had to get our summons anyway, so. All right. And you see down here, they do have the gods of wars, but uh, you don't want to spend the 5,000 gems. All right, so we collect our rewards, and we did have this one done too, so we'll collect this one as well. We're going to hold off on opening these chests because if we do complete the event, we'll get some more rewards, so that's why. All right, so we're now on the next quest here. Defeat uh, Kar Kazar. Okay, we'll fulfill another attempt. At the beginning of the turn, we'll summon a bowman. Sure. All right, yeah, let's go. Whoops. Well, that, now let's go. <laughs> yeah. Water. Just uh, clear this out here. Some splash. <laughs> Okay, should be okay. Okay, 
Uh, why nothing is happening? We need to merge our worlds. Where is everybody? The same place you're going to be. I guess that's a death threat. All right, so we'll start with our damage pentagrams first. And hmm, this is a little different. We're going to do our neater leader, Neelan. Reason why is because we'll get these hollow summons early. We can also set their units up for poison when they come into play. And then because this is our different squad, this is our squad that we use for gold mine. And uh, what we do is potentially set up for lethal now. So we have combat over there, combat over there. Yeah, this is, yeah, we'll, we'll just try and go for a lot of damage. So we'll summon our Bastet. When it comes into play, it deals damage to units. And then it gets an attack boost for every unit that it does destroy. As you see here, it does get a little bit more of attack boost. So you can see here, roughly about 200. And we are threatening lethal with these two lanes here. So combat, we'll summon our range unit over here. And there you go. Ha! You're so no naive. You can't kill me. There are things worse than death. It will work for me. They stole... See, this one is also for Mortal Kombat too. And what if I'm against it? Then you'll go to the worst lower world there is. Sector 66. You stole that from Star Wars. <laughs> I, I, I find. I'll do as you want. Just uh, don't send me there. Yeah, they stole that from... They stole the plot from Mortal Kombat. They stole the dialogue from Mortal Kombat... 11 i think 11 or either i think it was 10 yeah it was 10. Mortal Kombat 10 and then they stole the uh what do you call I, what was the other thing i i just saw it i i don't remember at this point yeah but they they're they're definitely low on the originality scale some copyright infringement all over the place all right so we'll collect our stuff Okay, and looks like we did complete this quest. I think it was to get the... You can't even see it without clicking on it, but we'll, we'll see it here. We'll click on it afterwards. All right, so this one here was uh, level up the any one of the event legendaries to level 14. We actually have all of them at 16, so that's why this one is already done. You can also get this done before, so that's cool. All right, so now we're on this next quest here to defeat Belial. Okay. We'll rush another attempt. Okay, uh, whenever one of their units appears, first skill, we'll deal damage to all of our units, including theirs. And then whenever one of their allies dies, it will give plus attack to another one. Sure, all right, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Surprised to see me here in my full form? I smell your fear. No, you don't. Your lack of intellect is going to make it easy for me. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Okay. So we'll do our damage pentagrams first, and this will be fun. We'll start with our, yeah, we'll start with our uh, Majolnir. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Joel, Joelnir? Majol, I can look it up. So we, we just call him Thor. Anyway, so he deals damage whenever a unit comes into play that is not order. So in this case, I know that they're going to be running most of the chaos units, if not all chaos units. But that's fine. Uh, we'll summon our own chaos unit over here. And this chaos unit will yeah, well, take some damage, but with some of these rotters, and these rotters die, and then when they die, they deal damage to units. Seeing here. Okay. Text messages in the morning here. All right, we'll summon our we'll summon our own Mr. Devil, and then we'll attack, and there we go. Why do I always lose? You don't know how to choose your opponents. You misjudge me too. All right, so that was Belial over there. I just noticed I defeated Mr. Devil over there with another Mr. Devil. All right, so we'll click our awards. Okay, as you can see here, we are on the next branch. And as you can see here, we do have the Shadow Chimuna to level 16. Let's take a look at these quests on the top. So summon the gods three times. And then over here, reborn the event legendaries nine times. Normally, in order to get this done, you'll need a lot of gems because the god chests are 5,000 apiece, and then you also need to access it. And then on top of that, you need to reborn these units nine times. You don't actually have to do these at the time of the quest, but in order to even reborn these nine times, you'll have to get them to at least level all of them to level 16 if you want to do it. Um, if you want to do it evenly, otherwise you can get one of them to level what 26 and one, two, three. That's a lot of gems, or a lot of gems, a lot of souls, and a lot of coins 
but we'll just do this one down here. Okay, so we got our rewards. We're on the second to last quest here. So we're going to open the bonus chest in event shop three times. We'll go back to the roulette. And this is where we were saving our stuff from before. So this bar, it looks like it caps off, but it actually doesn't. It's just one continuous bar that runs past. So this is why we'll still have some progress. We'll open up our first chest over here. Okay, uh, we will continue opening up chests in order to fill up this bar. So we'll spend another 5,000. Okay, got some Shimura, so that's good. And we did fill up the chest bar once again, so we'll open that up. We get some bonus runes, which we do. Nice. This helps us out a lot because it'll make it easier for us to fill up the level uh, bar once again. I'm getting some more Shimunas, some, you know, it's all right. Two, 210 is on the lower scale, but can't complain, I guess. I think he pronounced it like Thor Hammer. Thor's Hammer. It's, that would make sense. Jol, Jolinor? Jolnir? All right, so we got some Mr. Devil over here. We'll open this one more time. And as you can see, it is full. We got the minimum amount of Shimunas. We'll open up this and we do have our bonus chests to open up and some more event sparks so that's cool that will make up for the chest that we had to buy before so we're gonna hold off on opening these until the very end because the reward at the very end is more souls so we'll do that so we'll open this up and this is this is kind of fun we're gonna hold off on switching off our warlord as we do the final quest over here so we have to defeat shamuna all right, Shimuna, take a look at their skills right after. All right, so before one of their units attacks, or before one of our units attacks, we'll give negative attack 50%. And that also gives Metal Shield to three of our units, or three of their units. I gotta, gotta focus here for our last battle here. <laughs> uh, why am I not surprised? You said you were gonna make things right, and you lied. On the contrary, for once, I'm doing the right thing. Uh, you want to finish what you started and merge the world. Well, over my dead body. That's not going to be a problem, dear. Challenge accepted. Okay, we'll do our damage pentagrams first. And then... See what makes the most sense. We're going to do our... Let's do our grace, actually. Our grace will deal some damage to some buildings. Okay, actually got rid of all of those. Uh, those kills will count towards the seven extra attacks that we can get or more and we can actually do that with our necro lich with the rotters coming into play okay it wouldn't be a battle against shimuna if they didn't summon shimuna so they have the eclipse shards over here that give metal shield to the shimuna and then also if the metal shield is cancelled it will continue to give metal shield all right so we'll do our leader nilin or not needle Sorry, our Necrolish over here. This is the one. So we have our Rotters. We have an attack boost that is given because of the kills. We have our damage pentagrams, which after the breaking of their shard, which destroyed the Shimuna. And we have some protection over here. Okay. As you can see, the little sword showed up which means that the extra attack boost does occur the j is silent so it's molinor it mol molnir <laughs> mel millionaire millionaire i'm gonna have a fun time trying to, to learn this all right so we're gonna do our summons and then Okay, so we'll summon our Bastet, get some attack boost. You can see the seven extra attacks over there. And just enough. Oh, okay, because of the 50% discount on the attack. No, give me another chance, please. My chances to win were the same as always, as, as yours. You lost. Are you going to kill me now? Who do you think I am? I'm the Lord Protector. P-R-O. T-E-C-T-O-R. 
Mickey Mouse Donald Duck. I'm going to send you home. You're dismissed from school. <laughs> I'm telling your parents. All right, so that was Shimuno over there. And we actually, wow, so we got this event done in roughly about uh, two hours. Because uh, I, I know because these event uh, epic, um, the keys, they refresh every, uh, what do you call it? They refresh every two hours. So that's cool. All right, so we're going to go back to the roadmap. We'll collect our rewards. If we can actually get back to the roadmap. All right, so we'll collect our stuff, get some runes. So that will actually be enough for another chest. We're pretty much close to another chest. chest. All right, so the end biography for Shadow Shimuna. So Sha Shimuna. I was going to read that. Shadow Shimuna. Shimuna is a priestess of Braden, Radon, a rocky coast of Pangea. Once in a thousand years, Selena, the moon goddess, orders Shash Shamuna to conduct revitalization to prepare all the worlds for a new era of prosperity. Unfortunately, the last revitalization had gone wrong and Shamuna was imprisoned in the lower worlds. She quickly fell under the tragic influence of Master Lich. That was the, uh, the Necro guy. All right, so we do have our awards. GG. Yes, GG indeed. So we'll claim our awards. Get our stuff. Got a thousand copies of Shamuna, which is always nice. We have our medal. We have our epic scrolls and we have our increase increase in rewards so that's why we didn't want to open those chests so we'll claim that okay so now we are done yep <laughs> we'll go to the uh, not boss section but since we still have the extra runes which we well the event's still going on for another five days which is kind of nice but so we'll just open up our stuff fill up our our bars see what else we can get Nice. That's always good. Whenever you get more bonus runes than the initial 5,000, it's always good. Okay, I mean, it just balances itself out right there. Okay, fill up the bar. Okay, we'll open up uh, bonus chest number four. We got 335 Mr. Devils. That's not too bad. As you can see, it's so bad because uh, I do want to get the 2,000. Okay, I mean, we're also getting more bonus runes. Really can't complain about bonus runes unless you only get 3,500. Got some gems. This is, I believe this is the lowest probability you can get off of this one here. Yeah, so you, there's a 5% chance you get gems. I mean, we did have to get some gems back eventually, so that's cool. Just getting a lot of bonus runes. Yeah, the rewards increase in the bonus rune, uh, what do you call the bonus chests for every level. So eventually we'll get something really, really big. Okay. Open this one up too. Okay. I was hoping for, you know, more, but all right. <laughs> My disappointment is there a little bit. Still cycling. Okay, it looks like the rune train has started to slow down. Okay, and so yeah, well, we got a couple of copies of Shimura, so that's good. And uh, we do have the world event still going on. We'll be able to get some more runes for later and probably fill up this bar. Potentially could go to seven, but we'll see how, how many. And why does it say 40? This is just a visual glitch. All right, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, so that was the uh, world event over there. Uh, as you can see, the timer says it's going on for about five more days. So we'll be able to get some more runes in the meantime. And then we'll just, uh, we'll, you know, we'll do some hunts. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll have some stuff ready for, for later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm just going to do the hunt off, offline. Uh, okay, so yeah, for, uh, what was I going to say? All right, so just to recap for today's uh, stream. So what we did is we completed the world event. Got some extra runes, got some extra copies of stuff. Uh, we also did some Divine Arena in order to get the necessary runes for uh, the middle of Chapter 2. Uh, these battles were a little difficult. The, I would say the Harbinger of Darkness side is more difficult because you don't have any direct removal. And then this uh, Trixie side is a little easier because you do have removal and some attack boost, so that's cool. We also did some Pit as well. We one-shotted both of the... Whoa. 
Okay, some extra drag over there. We one-shotted both of the bosses that we had to face, and then also had the boss that we did save for the world event. So we're going to have some more. We have two more pit bosses that we need to beat, which we'll do probably tomorrow. Yeah. So for uh, tomorrow's stream, what we're going to do is we're going to get some more runes, uh, try to fill up the bar if we can. Also do, do some more pit battles because we'll have the other two bosses to beat. And then, uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. If we do have enough time as well, we'll also do some more journey, which we'll do on the sad boy cap. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, tuning in. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, or concerns, leave a message on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The content and streaming schedule is right up there. I see where okay, there we go. Right up there. So check it out. Please like and follow on Twitch for the live stream. And like and subscribe on YouTube for more videos. Like I said, we're going to have some more journey. We'll have some more world event stuff for future uh, videos. And uh, yeah, there's some other good stuff up there too. If you see any videos that uh, you don't uh, see or that you're looking for, leave me a note and we'll make a video for you. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, checking out the channel. I appreciate everyone, you guys supporting it. And uh, yeah, uh, hope you guys uh, have a good weekend as we head into tomorrow. So yeah, this is a uh, happy splasher signing off.